All right, this is the Drac build video, the first 10 years of progress. This is a project I'll work on maybe an hour or two here and there, um, which is why it's taking so long, but it's okay. It's just kind of a filler project. Um, the first idea was to take a quad drivetrain and put it into a golf cart. Um, that never really got past just an idea um, because after a while I found this Geo Metro for 50 bucks. And this is the snowstorm in which we took the motor out. There's the motor. Um, golf cart frame stripped down. And we, I don't have a lot of build pictures. I just have some more finished ish pictures here. Um, here's the framework we built onto the golf cart. And this is probably all the farther it got. We never got the thing running. We never got anything really hooked up. Um, because at this point, we decided let's forget the golf cart frame. Let's start from scratch. So I started building this frame. I bought a four wheeler to cut the front suspension off of. There's my front suspension kind of mocked up. We're still using the Geo Metro motor and the five speed transmission. Um, here I'm machining some suspension components. We used a laser cutter to laser cut some uh, prototype wheel spacers so that um, we could put the Geo Metro rims, which you see there in the front, uh, with four wheeler tires on them on it. Uh, here's the motor being mounted. Here's the uh, the trailing arm, uh, swing arm suspension things that we built for the back, which is kind of weird setup, but it worked out okay. And there they are installed. And we're starting to build the sides of the frame, mocking up the steering, actually getting the steering welded, bolted in. I used uh, a high-tech program called Paint to uh, look at how I might want to make body panels if I ever went that far. Here's the first time we rolled it outside, welding on a roll cage. There's the roll cage installed. The roll cage actually would come off so that we could work on the engine much easier, take the motor out. Uh, here's the front suspension being mocked up. We used a CNC plasma cutter to cut some components. Here they are, which were basically frame braces and things like that, which were installed and welded in. We stripped everything down um, for painting started reassembling it after it was painted or rather primered. Here's the motor and everything installed. Uh, attaching the brakes or the brake booster. Um, upgrading from single, single piston to four piston calipers. Uh, CNC machining a polycarbonate windshield. Um, this is a prototype uh, dash panel that we were laser cutting. Here's the finished version of, well, the wooden version of the dash panel, which would be a cutout of polycarbonate also. All right, then another design revision. We decided let's get rid of the geo motor and let's use a motor out of this Ninja, which I, I bought for 250 bucks. I already had one. I decided to buy one for parts and I figured why not just pull the motor out of it. And at that point I bought some new rear tires, which really kind of boosted my morale on the project. I thought this, you know, it's starting to look really cool now. So let's get this thing working. Um, so there's the geo motor out, ninja motor in. Uh, pulled everything out, cut the rear end of the frame off, started mounting up the ninja motor, figuring out what I'm going to do with those CV shafts. And then I built this. I used my uh, lathe to start machining some uh, the shaft. Um, it doesn't have a differential or anything in this case. Um, this is the, the shaft that goes between the bearings and the rear end. And there you can see the shaft in the middle with a little, uh, the sprocket and the uh, brake and the universal joints and everything. Here's uh, kind of a mess as we're working on it. Getting some stuff mocked up. Looking at how we're going to mount uh, the radiators. Uh, looking at maybe even some safety, like some four-point harnesses. There's the radiators mounted. Here's the uh, the shifter up. It's kind of above in this video or this picture. It's the shifter with the clutch on it, and then uh, towards the passenger seat, you see the uh, the brake for the brakes. And here's kind of mocking up how we want the brakes to be hooked up. Uh, electronics weren't as much of a nightmare as the Geo Metro, but here's uh, figuring out how we're going to mount the electronics. This is underneath the seats. Um, then this is after we painted it black now. Um, here is a final version of the the rear center shaft um, and the 
the sprocket mount that I CNC machined. And there's the sprocket mount in um, with the biggest sprocket that we could fit without cutting the frame anymore. Um, and there's the battery mounted and everything like that. And then this is the most finished pictures that I have of it. Um, at this point, there is a testing video, which I'll put a link to right here. Um, so you can actually see it um, working. The gearing was not really where it was, should be, so it had to be pushed down the street. But once we got it running, um, it actually went about 50 miles an hour or so, and then we blew up a universal joint. But that's in the next video, so click this video, check it out. Um, and there will be another video in the future of how it went um, from Ninja Motor to 27 horse V twin hydrostatic drive to uh, 13 horse CV drive. And at this point, that's where it's sitting. So that video will be once I start working on it again. So, all right. Thanks for watching.